Yes, this question is asking perform subtraction on the given unsigned number using tense complement of the subtrahend where the results should be negative. Find its tense complement and affix a minus sign. Verify your answer. Now let's do the A part. So here we have a subtraction of 6428 minus 3409. And what the question is saying is like perform the subtraction on the given unsigned number using the tense complement of that subtrahend. Subtrahend is what are we subtracting? This is the number that represents subtrahend. So I'm going to take the subtrahend. Subtrahend. Anything that comes after minus sign that's the subtrahend so here is 3409 is the subtrahend and then i'm going to take this 3409 and i'm going to find the tense complement of this the easiest way to find out the tense complement is first finding the nines complement and then adding one to it so to find out the nines complement what we have to do is we have to put nine on top top of each of these numbers if it's decimal just put nine on top, top of this each of this number and then do the subtraction so here nine minus nine that's zero nine minus zero that is nine and then nine minus four that's five and then nine minus three that's six this is nine's complement okay nine's complement now we are interested in finding the tenth complement to find out the tenth complement just add one to it <clears throat> so if you add one six five nine one and that's the tense complement of the subtrahend now what we have to do using uh unsigned number using tense complement of the subtrahend where the res results should be negative this results represents a negative number so it means if we add this one with this one that should give the same answer as subtracting. So negative find tense complement and affix a minus sign verify your answer. Okay. <clears throat> so first uh, what are we going to do is we are going to add them. Because uh, first we had to add them and then get the results and then do we have to do the verification. So 6, 4, 2, 8. And if I add this, this uh, the one we derived that is the Tense complement of the subtrahend six five nine one. We get nine and then one and a carry one and then zero and a carry one and then um, six is twelve then three and a carry one. So one three zero one nine. This is what you are getting. Uh, and uh, if we do the subtraction, like if you really do the subtraction directly for this one. 6428-3409 you will be getting 3019 okay so here uh, we got the exact same thing like <clears throat> uh, verification you can always do the subtraction like verification 6428 minus 3409 that should give you 3019 so we verified and it's giving the exact same answer and this one represents plus and if it's zero that's a minus you will see like when you do more examples you will see that so this is the a part now let's look at the b part i'm going to erase this one and do the b parts right here <clears throat> okay let's look at the b part in the b part we have given a number like 125 minus 1800 so this is the subtrahend here so we take the subtrahend sub um where's the equation okay subtrahend subtrahend here is 1800 and if you want to find out the tens complement first take the nines complement nines complement is you basically put nine 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 
on top of each numbers and then do the subtraction so here 9 minus 0 that is 9 and then 9 minus 0 9 9 minus 8 1 9 minus 1 that is 8 and this is 9's complement okay and then the next thing is we have to find out the 10's complement that's the purpose we are doing the 9's complement because if we add 1 to the 9's complement that's a 10's complement so 9 plus 1 that's 0 and a carry 1 then 9 plus 1 0 and a carry 1 1 plus 1 that is 2 and then 8 this is the tenth complement okay after we find out the tenth complement uh, what we have to do is we have to add them so 125 plus 8200 and if you add this one you're gonna get 8 um okay this is plus okay this is 5 then 2 then 2 plus 1 that is 3 and then 8 3 2 5 so we have 4 bit and the number in front of is 0 so this 0 represents negative like when we do that you're gonna see that so we are getting um, okay so we are doing the big part uh, we are getting this and then if I hmm. so here you see so this is a tense complement because we have to do a tense complement because if it's a negative answer we are gonna see completely different one. This is not we are getting like if you subtract you are not gonna get this one. So uh, here we have to do the tens complement eight three two five, and then if you do the tens complement to do the tens complement nine 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 nine, and then do a subtraction so nine minus five that's four, nine minus two that is seven, nine minus three that is six, uh, nine minus eight that is one. Okay, so this is nines complement. Nines complement. And then if you add one to this, that's a tens complement. So one six seven five, that is tens complement. Okay, so this is if it's tens complement. If you had to get the answer, the real answer using tens complement, that is negative value. So this is the negative value. And if you directly subtract like one twenty five minus thousand eight hundred, you're gonna get minus 1675 as well you can give it a try with your calculator you're going to get this let's look at the c part okay so this is the b part let's look at the c part <clears throat> okay in the c part what do we have we have 2043 and minus 6152 so here this is our subtrahend. So take the subtrahend, subtrahend. Find the find the nines complement. So the the purpose is finding the tens complement. So if you find the nines complement and add one to it, that's tens complement. So subtrahend is six one five two. Nine score to find the nines complement we put nine 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 on top of each number we put a nine and then we do the subtraction so nine minus two that's seven nine minus five that's four and then nine minus one that is eight nine minus six that is three and to find out the tens complement just add one to it this is nine's complement okay add one to it then that's gonna give you three eight four eight and that's the tens complement okay now if you add this one with this you should get the answer so 2043 plus 3848 and that is one and a carry one four plus four plus four that is eight eight plus one nine and then zero plus eight that is eight two plus three that's five and uh, this is what we are getting and then um, this is assuming zero in front of it 
So if you have a zero in front of it, it means we have to do the truth complement to find out the real answer. So let's go ahead and do the truth complement to find out the real answer. Five eight nine one, and then um, so you you can see always if you have an extra carry, that's a plus. If you don't have a carry, extra carry, that's a minus. So this is a minus. So we had to do a truth complement to reveal the real answer. So five eight nine one. I mean, two, not two complement, tens complement. So first, I had to find out the nines complement, and then add one to it. That gives the tens complement. So to find out the nines complement, I put nine nine on top of each number and do the subtraction. And if I do that, nine minus one, that's eight. Nine minus nine, that's zero. Nine minus eight, that's one. Nine minus five, that's four. And this is nines complement. And then add one to this that is nine and zero one four this is tens complement so tens complement should be the answer and this since this is negative supposed to be negative struck a negative in sign negative sign this is what you supposed to get if you subtract this one and this one if you do that if you do the calculation using a calculator and uh, this is what you're going to get. So if you subtract 20, if you subtract 6152 from 2043, you're going to get negative 4109. Okay, that's it. And that's C part. Now let's look at the D part. So in the D part, we have 1631 minus 745. This is the subtrahend. Let's bring the subtrahend here. Um, first find out the nines. Uh, we, we have to get the tens complements. First find out the nines complement and add one to it. So we could we have this subtrahend that is 745 to find out the nines complement put nine on top of each number and subtract this so nine minus five that's four nine minus four that's five nine minus seven that is two and then add one to this two five five and this is nines complement and this one is tens complement and then add the tens complement with this ones. 1631 and then 255. Five. 5 plus 1, 6. 5 plus 3, 8. 6 plus 2, 8. And then a 1. Okay. <clears throat> this is okay. Wait, did I do things right? Okay, the, the one of the mistake I made is we have to treat this one like a four bit because we are subtracting from a four bit number, so I had to add a zero in front of this, and there should be another nine. So nine minus zero, that is nine, then nine two five five so this one should be nine here uh, because when we add we have to have an overflow for a positive number so that's one one of the mistakes we have to be careful so if you are subtracting from a four bit number like this like four digit number we have to have this one as a four digit like when we are doing this we have to make this one a four digit so we have to put a zero in front of it so that makes this one One plus five six, three plus five eight, six plus two eight, and nine plus one zero and a one. We supposed to get this one outside because that's only makes this one positive number. So if we get a one overflow like this, we don't have to find out the truth coming in because this is a straight answer. We just neglect the one and 
give this one as the answer. So the final answer of this one is going to be just uh, if you calculate 1631 minus 745, that's going to give you 0886 as the final answer. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you guys on my next video.